right, coming up next, it's a UFC light heavyweight division collision. Well, this guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting through steps one to step two before his opponent even realizes now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep or a headlock or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. Well, he is the best mixed martial artist that the nation of Sweden has ever produced. Former two-time UFC light heavyweight title challenger Alexander Gustafsson, and he hasn't realized the UFC title yet, but I know you guys will always have UFC 192, one of the harder fights of your career. One of the toughest nights that I've ever had in the UFC, and Alexander Gustafsson showed in that night that not only is he skilled, he's as tough as they come. From the war with John Jones, to the war that him and I had, to some of the biggest victories, that he stood and he's won in the octagon. A very, very skilled striker with fantastic boxing, unbelievable footwork, and very, very underrated wrestling. One of the only guys that can say he's taken me down and also taken John Jones down in a championship fight. He really is the total package. I know he hasn't solved that John Jones puzzle yet, but truly a special striker. And in terms of the movement at 205 pounds on the feet, nobody does it better than Gus. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 12 wins, one loss, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Jamal Sweet Dream! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 18 wins, 7 losses. He stands 6 feet 5 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Stockholm, Sweden, Alexander the Mahler Gustafsson. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Labine. The veteran Eve Labine draws the assignment here. guys have been on each other's radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well-rounded. You think we're getting a kickboxing match tonight or what? You just don't know, right? You don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to. This is a close fight on paper, and also in every performance we have seen them put on, these guys seem to be the mirror image of each other. Swing and a big miss by Alexander Gusters. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Muay Thai plump. Nice kick. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Nice double leg takedown attempt there, and you got to think that's something that's going to give him confidence moving forward in this fight. A lot of confidence when it happens that easily. He took a shot, he got a takedown. Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. And he's out. 
if you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move. You got to shrimp. You got to get off on the hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. All right, north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. Dig and kick. Misses with the left hook. Oh, big right hand. Nice punch there. Single collar tie now. Under a minute now to go. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Alexander Gustafson. And both guys really throwing with authority. And he landed the right hand there. Big knee. Knee to the body. Gustafson's shot there is blocked. Both guys landing with conviction now. especially from a striking standpoint, DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always gonna be. When you have two very talented fighters, sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Trying to establish that jab once again. All right, single collar tie now. Ooh. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. He landed a good uppercut there. Oh, straight right. That D, that D hurt him. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well that he drops a big right hand after him, he may be able to finish his fight. Big call from punch land. Now we get back to range. Nice combination there. Got the single collar tie. Right hand punch from the clinch. Oh, oh. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Right hand punch from the clinch. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Wild swing there. Oh, strong punch there by Alexander Gustafson. You don't know when that leg takes off. Oh, now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on beat street. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's gonna do to stay in this fight. Throwing that jab, no good. Big knee! Just misses with that one. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Huge knee lands from the tie clinch. 
Oh, nice pop there from the crowd as he finally gets the takedown. He stayed committed to the offensive wrestling, and now he has his opponent where he wants. A sigh of relief from the people watching because they were tired of watching him flail around trying to get takedowns and get defended over and over again. Finally gets it. Now what does he do with the top control? All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, here we go, DC. Our next round is underway, and he's chasing some punch stat records tonight. That was some serious volume and efficiency in the previous round. Normally, you see that in boxing, where a guy just throws so many strikes. But this man has taken it to the octagon, looking to break all the punch records before the night is over. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world close. Newsbook serves him up. Go get him. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. And there he is, all smiles. What a huge knockout he turned in here tonight. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 50 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Alexander the Mauler Gustafsson. All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find...